Hello everyone, welcome to the mad and maddening world of Mouse Potato. Looking at the response that I got for last week's episode, which was based on work stress, I think stress is one thing which is common to you, him, her, them, uh, me, not really. So, analytically speaking, it's absolutely logical to consider the statistical parameters and apply the mathematical formula that no one has a job that you can envy. Let me apologize again for uh, my coworkers. Uh, yeah. Working around here can be uh, very, very challenging. But I think I told you before that I uh, work with a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> nice one, guys. I totally understand. I actually work with a bunch of jackasses. <laughs> No, thanks, guys. I don't really feel like drinking at lunch. Sorry, guys, if I sounded like a guy from the top management of your company. All that I was trying to say is that the grass is not... Read my lips here. The grass is not greener on the other side. Well, most times what a boss says is not what he means. It's up to you to understand what is not said. Confusing? Well, here's a simple guide which explains how to understand the deeper meaning of what is not said. So, let me start by saying great job on the internal viability assessment. We got some direct feedback and you know what? Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but suffice it to say that this came down from the top. Now the front office has assured me that we are not gonna be affected by the merger. Now I am gonna be out of the office for the next two or three hours with senior management but you can reach me on my mobile. Oh, correction. I'm gonna be off-site and unreachable for the rest of the afternoon. But remember, this office is a family. And my door is always open to anyone who wants to powwow with Papa Bear. So you see, what they say is not really that important. But no matter how much they faff around like I'm doing right now, you have to pay complete attention or you'll get into some deep, Soup. Tony, you don't think I'm being unreasonable, do you, Alan? No, no, not at all, not at all. I know we're all busy, it's the same for everyone. But, you know, if we don't get this development file finished by the end of the week, then we'll never get it done. Mm -hmm. So I think if everybody pulls together mm. and works a bit of overtime, then we'll all benefit in the long run, don't you agree? Yes, yes, yes. Are you listening to me, Alan? Mm -hmm. Oh, my <laughs> bastard! <laughs> <laughs> that must have hurt. But no one can really prevent such encounters. But what you can do is ease things out between you and your boss by being nice to them. Maybe throwing a surprise party on their birthday may just do the trick. <laughs> That's one big surprise. I wonder who took whom by surprise. But if that has to happen, even God can't help you. You might wish you had that instrument from the movie Men in Black. With one flash, you can flush out your boss's memory. But that's too good to be true. So what does one do after upsetting and having embarrassed his boss? Well, I would suggest just stay out of line of fire. Hey! Who shipped the 200 boxes to our client in Boston? Was it you, Lewis? I shipped them with... 
You're a heck of a man doing a heck of a job, Lewis. Oh, yes. Such camouflage techniques can keep you on safe ground, but only for a while. At some point of time, you are bound to get stumped and you will be called for a one-to-one -one meeting where there is no escape. Can you see me? Yeah, come on in. Shut the door. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? We need to have a serious conversation about your revenue. Okay. I mean, your, your sales are not where they need to be. We're not getting any new customers. All the customers I have are just not willing to spend money. The economy's not good. I mean, this is... This, this, this is terrible. I mean, we got to have a serious... Yeah. Sorry, you got a minute? Is it important? Yeah. Jim, seriously, this is this is terrible. You need to sit here and think about this for the next couple minutes while I go handle whatever's going on out there. No more excuses. That's all you've been giving me, okay? Okay, guys. Trigant, the boss wants to see you. In five minutes? Right now. Okay, guys, just hold on. I'll just attend to my problem, uh, to my boss and come back.